Hi, I'm gonna solve a Fourier transform question. This is a common question in exams. So what it says here is sketch the following waveform in the time domain and calculate its, its Fourier transform. Um, so basically, uh, f of f of t is three, and the limit is negative two to two. Otherwise. Um, it's zero. So how do we actually sketch that? So if we draw the x-axis here, this is the um, the time domain, and the y-axis is f of x. So the x uh, the x-axis is, is the time, and the y-axis is the f of x. So it says f of uh, f of t is 3, so just put it here and then apply it and put the limit. So negative 2 and 2 because here we're talking about time, and as I said before, the x axis is the time. So just connect. Connect them, um, and it says otherwise. So other times it's zero. So this is all zero here, zero here. So this is the sketch of the question. Okay, how do we actually calculate its Fourier transform? First of all, we have to know the uh, Fourier transform equation. So the Fourier uh, transform. Uh, equation is um, uh, the equation of negative infinity to infinity f of t e to the negative j w t dt okay so we basically apply what we have here the givens so f of t is 3 so we apply it here substitute it here and then we have the limit is negative 2 to 2, so apply the limit here. So let's do that. So negative 2 and 2, f of t is 3, and e to the negative j w t dt. So here you just simply integrate this. So 3 is... Um, 3 is a constant, so it goes up. So 3, negative 2, 2, e, negative j, w, t, dt. So if we want to integrate this, it will give us um, 3 over negative j, w, e, negative j, w, t, negative 2 and 2. Uh, if you want me to do a video on how to integrate um, exponential forms, uh, just tell me in the comment section below and I'll do a video on that. So, um, so we have uh, 3 over negative jw e to the uh, negative jwt and the limits are negative 2 and 2. So if we just Apply the limit, so 3 over negative j w e, so 2, um, negative 2 j w minus, sorry, minus um, 2 j w. So, when we apply the negative 2 here, it will cancel with the negative, so it will give us a, a positive 2JW. Okay. Uh, and we have a negative outside here. So we can distribute it inside. So it will give us... Um, so let's continue over here. So it will give us um, 3 over 
JW. Negative E to two JW plus E to JW. So if we just rearrange this, uh, three over JW to JW minus. Okay, you can see this is a complex number, so. In complex numbers, we have a formula which states that um, sine delta is 1 over 2j uh, e j uh, delta minus e j delta minus, sorry. So, you can see that this is really similar to this. We just have the negative, um, uh, we just have the the half missing. So what we can do here, we can uh, multiply this by 2 over 2. So if we multiply this here, the, uh, the 2, and the numerator by the 3, uh, with the 3, so it will give us 6. And then we have uh, the two and the denominator. Uh, we'll take it separately. So, so we'll have it two, and we'll take the j from here, add it to this, and we have the w here over one with the um, e two j w minus e minus two j w. So, this is exactly like this, like uh, the complex, uh, complex number uh, equation. So, the, the delta here in our equation is uh, 2w. So, we can say that 6 over, uh, over w is sine um, is sine two w so two w so this is the final answer of our question so this is the Fourier transform of our equation here uh, if you have any questions please ask me below and uh, thank you for watching.